change the mind that we had before we came to God. We want to do it like God wants us to do it. How many have a problem doing it how God wants us to do it? Amen. I see those invisible hands. Nonetheless, you have to do it. Yeah, if you're going to have, you know, a, 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 a university diploma from BPU, you have to separate yourself from Miami-Dade and go to BPU. Am I correct? Right. I mean, I, I want a dental, uh, um, I want a dentistry, orthodontics. <laughs> Okay, I want an orthodontics degree. Dentist. Okay, so then I have to separate myself to the dentist school. Am I correct? So, if you're going to have a degree in the spirit and walk with God and walk in victory, you must separate yourself from certain things. You don't have a boxer hanging out, getting drunk, having sex, and they want to fight the next day. They, they, you know some boxers can't have sex for the longest Box. Sammy, I don't know if you about being a doctor, I mean a, 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 a boxer. I don't know about that. Huh? Okay, no, no, I'm just saying some people can't handle the discipline that's required, the separation. And here, if you're going to walk in the spirit, it has to be, huh? Sammy gets it, that means that if, if he's going to be a boxer, there's going to be very little sex, and I don't know if he can control something that's over. What if that big man is it's a joke. <laughs> so, he says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, it's a warning. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. What is that? By the mercies of God, how you, by the what? The tender compassions of God that you, that who? That you, that you present yourself. That you present yourself. Wait a minute, I'm tell you. That you, that you present yourself. That who? That you present yourself. Okay, you bring yourself to God. Back then, that back then, you know, they used to bring animals as a sacrifice. Yeah. But here you change your mind and says that you present yourself as a sacrifice. Yep. It's hard. And it's demanding. And it hurts. That you go God's way instead of your way. It ain't easy, Sammy. It ain't easy. It is not easy. It's a sacrifice that you kill off the flesh and the emotions and do it God's way. He says that you present yourselves as a what? Sacrifice. What kind of sacrifice? Living, Living sacrifice. sacrifice. Okay? No. You, you bring yourself to the altar. You bring yourself. It's not a dead, anybody can be a dead sacrifice. I'm going to give myself to live for God because you know they're going to kill you tomorrow. <laughs> But you got to spend the next 50 years movie living for God. In all kinds of situations and performances, in all kinds of conditions that you got to say yes, Lord, and no to Tom. Yes, Lord, and no to Keith. Yes, Lord, and no to David. Yes, I mean, that's a living sacrifice. That thing want to jump off at that table and run. Because remember, they brought these to bring the animals on the table. And they tie it up, depending on the animal, and cut its throat, you know, and then the blood. This is a living sacrifice. <laughs> I've got to get out this thing. <laughs> I want to, you present yourself as a living sacrifice, holy, not part of you. Some people give God a percentage. How much are you giving to God? Mm. Are you giving 100% of your life or a certain percent? I mean, Dude, if we do percentages with your, your week this week, how much time you, you, you did for God? How much of it was all God? And how much of it was us? Mm -hmm. Good point, Pastor. Holy. 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 Holy to God. Yeah, right? 15 minutes a week. Here to God. 
So you got to separate yourself from evil, from bad stuff, and separate yourself unto God. That's sanctification. And that's a work that the Holy Spirit does as you, what it says, that you present yourself. God is not going to take over you and change the television from, from I don't know, from, from a cool movie to a Christian sermon. God's not going to change it. You have to do it. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's a bad movie, it's a cool movie. But the Holy Spirit says, separate from that and separate yourself to me for a little while in a good word. It is a separate yourself and a living holy. That's the key word. That you present yourself a living set, holy, acceptable unto God. Holy and acceptable unto God. Some people, and, and the, the point is this, some people want to present themselves anyway and want to encounter God. I don't know about you, but I, I, got, I, I got a female right now, back in the days, I would try to present myself acceptable to them, right? Amen. Right. Hair, the breath, and the underarm, clothes, the car if you roll in that way. He says, it, girls change their mind when they, when they see you pull up in a Mercedes, right? They quickly look at you differently. Mm. You are. Huh? Even if you are. Even if you are. Boy, you got a person. Boy, what's up with you? Well, I can fix this teeth for this, and I can fix it. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a movie like that once. I saw some of it that the guy was all horrible looking, and she took him and made him look real good. Next thing you know, she wanted to keep him, but then all the other girls wanted him. You know? But you have to present yourself holy to God. Separate yourself from the junk and live holy to God. Not with a mess, not with the craziness, not with all that. You, you have to do it. The Holy Spirit will help you. He works laterally. Amen. He works inside you from side to side, side to side. And, 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 and what you have to do with the presenting yourself. And he's saying, Lord, help me. I want to do good. Can you help me do good? Mm, come on. You know, at least that. Then the Holy Spirit can work with that. But if you even say that, he can't work. He's like, man, hope this guy gives you something to do. <laughs> <laughs> I can make him holy if you just, just pray, Lord, hey, Lord, the man, Lord, help me. And he'll come in here and he'll start working. But you got to give him permission. you got to ask him. He says that you present yourself holy unto God. Which is your reasonable? So he said, this "Is rational worship? It's rational because it's performed with the heart, mind, and soul of intelligent beings, and it's in contrast to the worship of idols of Rome, Roman worship and whatnot." He says, "Stop the Roman worship of idols." He tells us, "Stop the the, the American worship of." Escalate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Of the mansions. Of the television. Oh. What do people worship out there? A movie? Money. Yep. Oh. The party, the blingage in yeah. South Beach. Yeah. Oh. I don't know about you, man, but I, 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 it's something that, that touches my, my soul sometimes when I see the cars and the fancy clothes and the beautiful looking people going to fancy restaurants. You know, I don't know why. Does that, does that, like, like? It upsets me because I can't do it. Okay, it upsets you. But if you write, it is something, it makes you feel like, but, yeah, that's fabulous. But, yeah, it's possible. Right? Yeah. Possible. You go, if you had, if I had the money, where you think I'm going to be right there? Mm -hmm. For the beautiful people. <laughs> I'd be right, right here, we put up, just for opening the point, here's a $10 bill, here's a 20 spot. And you know, just for opening the door, boom. That's it, baby. Okay. How many, how many ordering the Appetizers, sweetheart, and I'm not sharing. I got my own appetizer. You eat yours, you get your no splitting appetizer, okay? No splitting plates. No splitting plates. So it's something in you, but but you, you cannot. The reasonable, rational worship should be of Christ, the eternal one. Now, and, and they were worshiping idols back in Rome. They were like, and we do it here. I see the church so upset over things, and they say they're not idol worshippers. You want to get them mad and upset and curse to God, don't give them what they want. And they say they're not idol. Yes, you're idol worshiper. You get upset when they ain't no money in the bank account. And it's okay to be, you know, cautious and, and careful about financial.